Welcome back everybody to my news time. This is Funky D, Funky D Worldwide. Yes, today we are going to take a look on um, some issues again regarding the Hesman people and the Hausas, the Yoruba, Nigeria in general, everybody. Mm? But this uh, segment, according to uh, the news, when they on our desk this morning, it says reaction from not others as they employ Buhari governors to arrest and prosecute attackers of Fulani Hesmen. <laughs> yes. Now this one that they tell they are Buhari and their governors in Nigeria may they arrest people when they attack Fulani people. Again, this one don't for that show or say there is a serious agenda eh? when consign this uh, full enhancement serious serious agenda when we say that agenda <laughs> they know they hide them again koro koro with the siam it will play out because i don't see any reason where a normal human being would they tell the government, whoever be the uh, president and the governor, say, may they go arrest people when they try to save their own citizens. I never hear any day when anybody from any tribe in that country tell government, may they arrest the Hesman people. They know they talk about. So that is why I said the agenda, they know they hide them again. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Then they claim, say, the Fulani people, then they come from the uh, north, then they come from their border, then they come from this and that. Um, but we think, say, Nigerian people then get uh, like uh, immigration or custom or police or army when they stay border by uh, border everywhere. The whole border is so when they Nigeria. How come these people they take enter inside Nigeria? We want to get security, so we see them they, when they for the border. When go allow, when you know, like abroad, they have some people when they border. You cannot come from America now. See, you won't just cross like that, enter Canada. When you don't go meet border securities, then they call them border securities. Every country in the world they get their own border securities. I think say Nigeria get them. And on a note, say the reason why. When make all these things come get out of hand, now the time when Ona Buhari tell and say made the troop in into Nigeria without visa, say they're going to get visa on arrival. Do not forget. So every blame should go to this name one of the call, whether in their life or in not their life. Every blame have to go to the. APC government and their Buhari. That time we don't want to. We don't want the same. Man. This thing it will resort to another thing. You know, though they don't they come before. And then they allow them. Wherever that they come from. The same northern people they tell us they're not being Nigerian people. Some later they will tell us they're Nigerian people. Different ways that they take they tell us. Different things that they tell us all the time about this people. So today we will take a look on how this men when be politicians or the northerners they take their Buhari say making arrest people when when they try save their own citizens like Mazna Nekano, Sunday Goho and some you know a lot host of them when they try to help their own citizens from 
the hand of this Fulani killers. The incident between Northern Hausa Fulani and the Yorubas in Ondo State has not only become a mere episode of misunderstanding between two tribe or ethnic groups but has also begun to acquire some kind of religious and political background that many skeptical about impunity and support for this pastor's function. Why many Nigerians are wondering why the same scenario is and the reports coming out from various regions of the country regarding how these Fulani Hesmen operate. Others are trying to juxtapose the facts that neither of them is saying the Fulani who have been prosecuted so far. Just as these thoughts are running through the minds of many, the Elders Forum, any EF, recently asked the federal uh, government, Muhammad Buhari, and state governors to proactive and protective of the Fulanis by arresting and prosecuting anyone who has embarked in any form of attack on Fulani Hesmen in Nigeria. According to NEF, they made this request to the, to the president insisting that those who attack law-abiding pastors across the country are trying to put the country in a dangerous path. However, the question on the lips of concerned Nigeria is, are they really complying with the law, especially with the news and daily reports that are had everywhere about their nefarious activities? Meanwhile, the errors in a statement by their by the director of publicity and advocacy, Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed. Meanwhile, the elders in a statement by their director of publicity and advocacy, Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed, employed the president and governors to protect pastors in the South while warning pastors against any form of repressal. The statement read in the past, the Northern Era Forum is deeply concerned by reports of a vision under threat and attack of Fulani headers, families, and communities in some south state of Nigeria. Yes, uh, for somebody to come out and begin to tell Buhari or not Buhari or anybody to prosecute. This is to show us now, say, these northern people, now them invite this Janja with people. Many times they don't tell us, say, they go invite their brothers. They don't brag, say, they must invite their brothers to follow the fight and take over the country. So, uh, for a normal person now to come out and begin to side with the northerners whether you come from the southwest or you come from uh, the um, southeastern part of the country and you see uh, they got to take a look on that person because many times these people they don't tell you see they must to invite their brothers all over africa to follow them come take over the nation called uh, Nigeria. And again, what will make somebody when they normal, they tell the government, make them prosecute the people when they try to protect their own citizens against the killer herdsmen. I don't see anywhere how the thing take make any common sense because these people are criminals and they have to be treated like criminals. These people are terrorists, they have to be treated like terrorists. Okay. 
even recently now here we see the video of the dss man when they tell us see in the in zamfara say many many group of all these terrorists about 700 of them based in zamfara in fact say those people they don't already take their own country and this is a place where they tell us say good day good one day they are not be today but we know they hear them for news <laughs> then they sell they collect the money the same people when they tell us in i don't get nigeria truly if you check this thing well you will see see they they these same full any people now then truly get nigeria and our people when come from the southwest and the southeastern part of the country they see they play with fire so my advice to people from southwest and the southeast must this time not the time the right time when we are supposed to break away from these people be, before it will be too late before it will be too late okay again that they tell us say former lagos state governors what they call latif akende they say the man is dead latif akende former lagos state governor hmm? the first executive governor of lagos state alahaji latif akende is dead the former minister of uh, works passed on thursday morning in lagos at the age of 91 he is a former journalist who became governor of lagos state in nigeria from 1979 to 1983 and later was minister of works under the sunny abacha military regime in 1993 to 1998 now so then tell us i'm brother now here we will stop this segment the issue when concerned is for learning people owner they play with fire the day when it go explode even all those people when they claim see made them go pro school and they can make them go pro school sunday who made them go pro school show or i made them go pro school all the whole freedom fighters all get in nigeria now time owner when they come out they defend these people remember i don't tell them before see they're not right and say be apco put for on her forehead when it go set it will reach every domot and very very soon we don't tell them before say all these things <laughs> Holiday recently, governor of Bonu State again. They attacked the man for the fifth time. They attacked the man again. They kill some people in his convoy every day. Now, people when they follow the man that they kill, why they know they kill this man? Why they know they get this man? And they, something did behind this attack when they attack this governor. He's not the only governor in Nigeria. They don't attack him like five times, even kidnapped his brother before. Hmm? So all of us, all of us got to be very, very careful. Hmm? The way we want to trade with these people, when we full and ginger weight. Alright? Uh -huh. I don't see anywhere when Nigeria will be the same again in this world. In this world where we're there. Even the people, when they call on one of the call center on our leaders, now then they bring these people. Look at now, normal person they tell you, say, go prosecute people when one defend their people. Instead of go go arrest and prosecute the whole Fulani people when they are country. The whole Fulani. When be the terrorists, when they inside forest, go prosecute them. They're not going to do it because <laughs> all of them get interest in waiting for learning they do to our people all of them they share that money what they did they kidnap people the governors then they follow share that money the northerners then they follow share that money that is why they all the time that they tell government say me they go prosecute me they go prosecute on the boat me they go prosecute on the can me they go prosecute people when they stop following people whereas now they follow any people now they follow knees now them they disturb they destroy they kill they mem, they kidnap our people. So, if you deter government, say, made them go arrest freedom fighters, people won't want to save their people. Now, you see, all of them are the follow share that money. 
all right so ladies and gentlemen right here we will stop this segment i say bye to everyone and make on a mission see we must subscribe to our own channel we love